Hello everyone, and welcome to this video. I am going to do a dry run without any editing on how to create a rounded square of a bleed and safe zone in Cocktail. So this is something that I was wondering a little while ago. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to go and create a new project. I'm just going to call it Demo. And uh, make the folder as well Demo and click OK. And what that'll do is it will open up a demo folder under the where I downloaded the uh, cocktail at, which is going to be for me in C slash documents, I believe. So the first thing we want to do is create a layout. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here, this icon right here, which is new layout. You can also do file, but whatever. And that will open up a layout, which is essentially going to be your card. So, I call this main, just because that's what I would use as a main card. And for me, I'm going to go ahead and do an 825 by 1125 format. So the width 825 and the height of 1125 is because this is essentially going to be the exact dimensions for the game crafter. So... With that being said, I'm also going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit so you can see the entire screen as I work. I will show you what I mean. So what I can do is click on the image icon right here, and that's going to create an image. Y'all don't have to do this. I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes. And then I will paste this in here, and then I will use this. So here you can see this is the exact card if you were going to use the game crafter as a source and then here you do 825 by 1125 and this is how the template works and this is how the template is you know uh, shown if you use stuff like Photoshop and stuff. However, obviously we are using cocktail. So that being said, we will need to recreate this so the image itself doesn't show up, but we can still see the bleed area. Let's go ahead and first click the square icon, uh, draw a rectangle. And then for the stroke, let's go ahead and make that red. Let's do bright red. And then make the thickness, I'd say about five four to six in my opinion is probably the best practice and then kind of do this and now this is essentially going to be the bleed you want to line it up so it kind of looks good and now if you're not using this for the game crafter and you're just trying to make a bleed then simply align it where you think it would need to be so I like this. This is about this is about right. So let's go ahead and let's call this. Let's actually create a group first, and then let's add this to the group. There we go. And what I did is I clicked on this little icon right here. It is right next to the trash can under the actual. Um, layers tab so let's go ahead and name this let's name this bleed let's name the group bleed as well why not and then what we want to do is we want to we want to go down to the bleed and right now this bleed will show up so this line will actually show up on cards and obviously you don't want the bleed to show up I mean unless you do for some reason but if you don't what you do is you click on it so you have that layer highlighted and then you click enabled this way you will still see that bleed however when you print the cards or save them and everything else this won't show up so let's go back to this and let's round this now bleed area <laughs> So what you want to do is you want to go to the round X and let's try 10 by 10 off the bat. Let's see how that looks. All right, so that's clearly not good enough. So let's bring that up to 30 by 30. And this, this is all going to be trial and error. 
Actually, that that's perfect. So we now have a bleed that is 30 by 30. And if you minimize the or hide the image, you can see that this is now the bleed area. And all you have to do at this point is click on the lock icon. Now you can't select it. You can't move it. You can't do anything possibly unless, uh oh, you, um, there you go. Unless you move the group, so you don't necessarily have to have the group. I am going to make the group, um, I'm going to lock that for now so I don't accidentally move it again. So now let's go ahead and create a new group and let's call this group safe zone. So here we want to do the exact same thing. We want to actually let's do something different. Let's go ahead and go to the select icon and let's lower this group down. And let's make sure that the group is perfectly lined up with the actual safe zone. So let's make it in the middle of everything. Boom. And then let's do the same thing with this side. And if y'all can't see what I'm doing, is there's now a little white line through the blue dots, which indicates that's where my white line actually is. So I'm doing the same thing with a white the right one and the bottom one so now we have this whole area so with that we can create a square inside of the safe zone um, let's change this the stroke on this let's change it to green this time let's just let's click that green there we go and then what we can do now is align it by stretching and stretching and center this at zero and zero. Set the width to auto, set the height to auto, and then we drag that to the safe zone. Boom. There we go. We have the lined up safe zone. So from here, we will now do the same thing. Let's go ahead and try 10 by 10. And let's let's see how that looks. I mean that looks that looks about right, at least for the tutorial. And then once again, while you're hovering over the now actual safe zone. You click on the enable to make sure that turns off. And then let's go ahead and lock both of these layers. And there you go. Now we know exactly where our safe zone is on the card, as well as the bleed area on the card without using this image and without using Cocktail's actual bleed. So if you were wondering, Cocktail does have their own bleed. However, you cannot layer them. So if you click on the main right here, you can actually see that there is a bleed. So if we show the bleed area, there's this small red line, and it does the same thing as what we just did. However, you cannot round this area. So this is the only way to create a bleed area in Cocktail as of now. So I hope that helps. If it does, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm sorry for this. Um, what's going on right now? Uh, my computer's acting really slow it's not the program or anything anyway go ahead and subscribe comment give me a like all that stuff helps me get showcased more as well as i'm going to be going ahead and creating a lot more tutorials like this so if you do in fact like this content once again make sure to subscribe like and comment to help me out so i can continue to help y'all out thank y'all and y'all have a great rest of your day